2014 is the year of hope and change for Greece and Europe. My candidacy for the presidency of the European Commission on behalf of the party of the European left politicizes the determination of people across Europe to end austerity and to work for growth, solidarity and prosperity. In that respect, my candidacy is a mandate for hope and change in Europe and Greece. 2014 is an election year for Greece. Apart from the European and local elections in May, the current Samaras government will be most probably forced to a general election as well. The outcome is expected to bring the Greek people with Syriza to power. That development would mean an immediate end to austerity and to the entire range of memorandum policies in Greece. It will be a victory that will unite the Europe of labor and culture. It will not divide it as neoliberalism does. Greece enters the sixth year of austerity and recession. It also enters the fourth year under memoranda. The Greek people have paid a heavy price for the economic oligarchy of the country to continue its party of tax avoidance and tax evasion, the party that brought the entire country to its knees. At the same time, due to the memoranda policies, Greece experiences an unprecedented in peacetime humanitarian crisis, as well as a severe deterioration of its debt problem. Austerity has set Greece's public debt to GDP ratio on an explosive path, and uh, as a consequence, it has uh, transformed it into a tacking time bomb that undermines Eurozone stability. Not to mention that my country bleeds from youth immigration. The best and the most talented have already abandoned Greece, which first turned its back on them. The Samurai's government is on the brink of collapse. It is for that reason that it decided to postpone the visit to Athens of the Economic and Monetary Affairs Com Committee of the European Parliament that investigates the work of the Troika in Greece and the other memorandum countries. The Samaras government did that in full cooperation with the President of the European Parliament and candidate for the presidency of European Union Commission, Martin Schulz. The government did not want to inaugurate the Greek presidency of the European Union with a painful investigation of the political at first stage responsibility for the memoranda of catastrophe. Mr. Samaras prefers his political self-assertion through the pre-electoral fiestas of the European Union presidency. He has once again bet on their own horse and he will lose. Now that the wheels of destruction are turning at full speed, it's the time for Greek, for Greek people and Syriza to pave the way for a new Greece with democracy, social solidarity and justice, economic and social security, growth and full employment. Now it's time for hope in Greece. Now it's time for change in Europe.